in our woods, uh, clearing out bracken, and we fell in the birch just because it's quite invasive. See this stuff here. This is bracken. Uh, as, you can, oh, as you can tell, it's uh, the leaves are very close together. Uh, not a lot of sunlight when it's more dense than this. Not a lot of sunlight can get through it, and that's why we've got to get rid of it. Because uh, you can see on the ground that we've that we've taken it's all it's all dead material there's nothing underneath it that's growing so that's why we need to take it and we need more grasses and more um, perennial herbs and shrubs to come through uh, and amongst if you see the background um, there's some silver birch uh, they're quite young at the moment um, but that's probably the best time to chop them down because it's easier because they get quite big and thick and it's a lot harder to uh, fell We're making a shelter for someone who's going, well, we decide if they're going to be standing up or sitting down or laying down. At the moment we decided laying down because for the two trees that we've picked this is the easiest way to do it. What we've done is we've actually taken the branches that have forks in them and put it onto the trees so they support each other. We have one big support branch from here and then we've just added everything else from there. Um, first of all we uh, decided what we'd, what we'd build basically, the format and basically we've gone for like a half tent uh, shape and now we're adding um, bracken especially for kind of like water protection. We're making it as waterproof <laughs> as possible uh, through just the rest of the leaves from the excess birch as well as we're getting some bracken and weaving it through. Well this project is particular, like my time has been funded through the Heritage Lottery Fund and um, they've given us a nice um, part of money to do a complete community engagement programme. So through that we're trying to get loads of school groups involved in environmental education sessions, we're also trying to get some youth groups involved doing environmental projects um, and also kind of just groups like this, you know, just kind of a taster session to say, you know, this is what the, the woods are about and, and just get involved and enjoy it and start to value it more by just being able to appreciate um, the different habitats that are here. I've just been amazed at the variety of the shelters, that's, that's what I've taken away from it. Um, I think I've even stolen a few ideas that's going to help me with my den building in the future. Everybody's become like engaged, um, everybody's so worked really well together and actually as a tutor I've kind of been like kind of superfluous which is so quite nice to watch people I'll engage in groups and it. develop their own ideas <laughs> and designs. Job, There's some really the good hand diverse hand range hand. of designs, <laughs> constructions and structures so um, we've really enjoyed it. The feedback's been fantastic so yeah. <laughs>